welcome back everyone to another episode of your favorite podcast, Real Talk Atlanta. I am your host, Ashley LeRae. I'm Taisha Renee. River the Realtor. And Nika W. Yes, and welcome back. It is Wednesday, of course, our favorite day of the week. Yep. Yeah, so, the hotties. Right. So y'all know we got it. Okay, cool off. Yeah. yeah. Cool off. Cool off. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all know we got to start off our episode with the first segment. The, uh, I was about to say the question of the day. Our peaks and our pits just kind of catching up. So what's going on, you guys? What y'all got going on? Who wants to start us off? I started off. Go ahead. Okay. Look at my <laughs> peak. Um, a peak for me. We have homes under contract. Period. Yes. Business is going. We're Period. working. And you Period. know. Period. I love the business. I'm loving real estate again this week. Because last okay. year, last week was killing me. <laughs> I was not a real estate last week. Okay. <laughs> All the week on vacation. Uh, my pits. I don't have one. I'm just going to manifest yeah. that forward. Period. Yeah. Okay. Period. Period. I'm manifesting <laughs> No, no pit. Yeah. There we go. Forward. Um, my peak is that I went on a real estate sabbatical. Mm. Not really, because I was still working. As you did. Okay. But I went to Miami, and that's enough for me to be whole in my spirit. I'm in yeah, Miami. Yeah. I, I know it's some Miami. Yeah. What the fuck with your daddy? Well, it's not like the fuck daddy, but I did enjoy my trip. It was like, it was the reset that I needed, y'all. So, like, I've been, like, getting kind of back in my flow, my routine, opening the shades, like, just Period. moving around. Like, I love it. Sunlight. I need a trip. Yeah. I'm every woman. I like, need a trip. No, I need a trip. No, I'm for real. I think the, the sun <laughs> and the water, it always, like, resets me. And that's mm-hmm. really why I be going to Miami. Like, I love the weather. I love Miami. I need a trip. I'm I itching. I love a good day, man. Yeah. Right. I'm so, itching If we do go. one together, we're going to need another one. No, I'm going Miami. Miami, Miami, Miami. I was just saying that today. Like, I need to go on a trip, like, Immediately. Mm-hmm. Yes. Everything. I feel reset. I feel whole. That is my peak. I just feel better. I'm like ready to attack the day. Like business is back flowing the way that it mm-hmm. needs to flow. They yes. don't call me River the Realtor for nothing. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> to Nika's point. Okay. No you peace. know what I need to stop doing before? I need to stop trying to fill in your sentences, y'all. No, when I be talking, Nika be like, <laughs> <laughs> like she knows what I'm about to say. And it be like, I didn't practice that, but okay. Um, I'm going to say a pit. I haven't been drinking enough water. Mm. Drink your water. I know, yeah, I know. I, I just, it. you know, when you be moving and I bought a case of water, you know, you're leaving the car too heavy, that whole little thing. That's my pit, though. <laughs> I can tell when I'm drinking enough water, I just feel dehydrated, tired. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Mm. You gonna go? I, mean, I guess I'll go. Yeah. yeah, I had a revelation earlier today, y'all. Okay. How old you? <laughs> <laughs> so I felt almost like super happy and grateful. Mm-hmm. I have a little over like two million under contract, period, and I realized. Period, period. Period. Out of all those, they're all women. They're all oh. like black women, young yes. women. And they're all like pretty much doing it on their own. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my God, like I that's love amazing. that. I love yes. you guys. So that's definitely a peak for me. Like I was just kind of sitting at my desk and I was just like, oh my gosh, that's like the the most amazing thing. It's just nice to really refreshing to see that. Yeah, I feel like you always hear about pe- like the bad things, but you never really think about like the good thing. There are people actually out here like doing really mm. good making things happen for themselves. And black so women are better. leading when it comes to yeah. becoming yeah. homeowners. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And even better, you're a part of that. Yes. yes. Yeah. It just made I'm me feel good. Every month is Woman History Month. Period. Oh, okay. I love I that. Love <laughs> I love the girls. I'm definitely like a girl's girl. Like, I've always been that person. Like, most of my friends have always been girls. So I'm like, oh my God, I love you guys. <laughs> don't but, start. Don't tell yeah. she love us enough. Okay. I'll, I'll start She'd be saying like, girl, it more. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> She'd be like, like shady. Ugly. Yeah. Ugly. Yeah. Ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Eat you. <laughs> oh, damn. I never <laughs> said that, by the way. I'm so kidding. kidding. Um, <laughs> love you. Love you. <laughs> Hate you. Bye. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's Shut just up. what they think of me. Wow. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. I guess I'll I'll say a peak. I've had really bad. Pit. Like, Pit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pit. I've had really bad shoulder issues and I've been thinking about it. Because yeah. I've been having back I think issues. I'm stressed. I need to get a Ladies, go to Miami. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to start having to go. I tried to find like to see if that was covered in insurance, like a doctor who could help with massages. A chiropractor? No. Not I just want massages under insurance, but that's not a thing. So I have I to pay for it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are delusional. Yeah. <laughs> the girls are going to pay for it now. So <laughs> I've been trying to find like some therapy to help with that because it's bad. But maybe you should try a chiropractor, you know, like, I can hear yeah. my bones. Me too. Yeah. Is that Girl, normal? Stop, please. No. Move anyway, <laughs> next. <laughs> my peak is okay. My peak is going to be 
So one of my goals, one of my goals for the past three years, so only like debt that I have is credit cards. Mm-hmm. So my past three years, I'm like, I'm paying off these credit cards, but I haven't. But this year, like I'm really being serious and I just paid, I have two credit cards and I just paid off one. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So that is definitely my peak. I'm so happy. I've been she logging into the account wow. every day like, yeah, zero. Oh, mm-hmm. can you help me? I have two card cards I'm trying to pay up by the end of the year. How's she going to yeah. help you? She gotta, you just got to pay. <laughs> you just got to pay. She just got to, you know. Stop, stop, going on. On. <laughs> stop going on Jay. Looks like, boo. Yeah. Stop going to Nobu. Shout out. And, and okay. Card. That's it. Mm, you my business. <laughs> <laughs> and my pit, I don't have one. Good. Good for you. Yeah. Cheers to no, no pit. No, no pit. What is a pit? Hmm, Only pit I know is under my arm. Yo, this is getting crazy. Can we get no, into the real estate? You see going to tap the drink? Like, we taking a she shot. Love that for us. I hate y'all. Let's, Let's get into, get into the, the real estate. Let's get into this episode. We'll plan all day if y'all let us. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's get into this episode because I feel like a lot of people recently have been talking about how real estate just isn't attainable mm. and... Don't get me wrong. We know that there's obstacles out there. People have Mm -hmm. their different circumstances. But for the most part, I think the government has done a really good job recently of putting different programs in place to kind of make home ownership attainable for people. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to talk about three things that we think the government has done recently to kind of help with that. I never thought I would say this, but the Fed might be y'all friend. Mm. Okay, so let's start off with the first thing, which is PMI or yes. private mortgage oh, insurance. I'm not right? <laughs> she decided for PMI because let's start with the the definition first. So what PMI is, it's basically an insurance policy for your mortgage if you put down less than 20% as a down payment when you purchase a home. But this insurance policy basically will protect the lender in the event that you stop paying your pay- stop making your mortgage payments mm-hmm. on your home. Yeah. And so, then we sell that house on the court steps. Yes. And I will mm-hmm. buy it on the court yes. steps. <laughs> Every month. <laughs> exactly. So with PMI, like you said, um, you will have PMI kind of bundled into your monthly payment mm-hmm. if you put down less than 20 percent, which mm-hmm. most people typically do because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't have 20 percent to put down. Mm-hmm. So with PMI, um, if you guys didn't know, the Fed just recently um Reduce, yeah, mm-hmm. reduce or lower the amount of PMI that you pay by, was it 0.3%, 0.30%, mm-hmm. which is, it may not sound like a lot, but that is a lot mm-hmm. of money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you're considering like your monthly <laughs> mortgage payment, keep in mind, there's a lot of different factors in it. You have your principal and interest, you have your, your PMI and mortgage insurance, your homeowner's insurance, taxes. a whole bunch of things, taxes, taxes exactly. So anything that could help lower that monthly payment is amazing. Right, Every penny right, literally right. counts. Yeah. Right, because correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't the PMI like 1.75 or something like last year? Mm-hmm. That's it was the one last year. Up front. They, up front. Yeah. 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 It was 0.85. They lowered it, it. They mm-hmm. lowered it to 0.55. 0.55. That mm-hmm. 1.75, that's the upfront fee. I think one thing to take into account, you guys have to realize, especially a lot of people go FHA mm-hmm. for their first time homeowners. So, you know, 3.5% down. But like Ashley said, that that PMI is wrapped into what you're paying every mm-hmm. month. Yep. So with FHA recently, um, PMI now stays on for the lifetime of your loan. You know, a loan is 30 years. Mm-hmm. It used to be once you pay your 20%, you no longer have to pay PMI. Mm-hmm. But now FHA has it where PMI is with that loan for the full 30 years. Mm-hmm. So imagine paying something every month along with your mortgage for 30 years. That adds up. So mm-hmm. them decreasing that amount from 0.85 of a percent to 0.55, it's going to show very significantly over the span of 30 Years. Yeah, this yeah. saves about $300 on average mm-hmm. on your monthly mortgage. Do y'all want mm-hmm. me to tell y'all what I can do with that? Because <laughs> well, right. I'm yeah. about to pull out my notes, y'all. I wrote down the numbers. I'm so sorry. Now we got the, the receipt. Pull out the receipt. I wrote down the numbers because, so for instance, if you were to purchase a $350,000 home, let's okay. just start there. And let's say your um, your PMI right now, you're, you'll most likely be paying around two forty seven dollars a mm-hmm. month. Mm-hmm. So now with the new um, lowered PMI, you'd be paying about one fifty seven dollars a month. Month. So it's about a ninety dollar difference every single month. Mm-hmm. And now keep in mind because with FHA, of course, that also includes your loan limits. So mm-hmm. for instance, um, the maximum loan limit was about seven hundred twenty six thousand. Mm-hmm. So before people who were had a house that expensive, their PMI was five fourteen a month. And guess how much <gasps> it would be now? What? Well, 
Three thirty-two. There we yeah. go. Hallelujah. I feel like it was in the receipts that she just put out. Yeah, well, I had to put my notes out for that. Listen, men lie, women lie. The numbers, the don't numbers lie. Strong. Strong. never. I feel like lie. because it was never, we couldn't control that, right? Right. Yeah. So when I tell my clients, it's like, okay, we can shop for insurance for your home insurance. You know, we can shop for the interest rate, but that BMI, we cannot control the BMI that. Is is what it is. Okay. Yeah. It is what it is. It is so. what it is. I'm I'm glad they kind of did that because they they see how of a shock that new interest rate was on buyers. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the fact they had to go in and you know evaluate all these things and come up with a solution yeah. to mm-hmm. make home buying more affordable. We appreciate you. I'm glad you yeah. mentioned interest rate because I think that's one of the biggest things. I think the decrease in the PMI on a monthly basis really does kind of make up for the influx in the interest rate. Obviously, mm-hmm. the higher your rate, the higher your payment. So if they've now leveraged your mortgage insurance to go down a little bit to kind of go balance out with the rates, mm-hmm. when rates come back down... Oh, you and your bank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in my bed. It's not for sure. <laughs> And I something I want to say, because you always hear people say, like, the government tries to make it so hard for people to purchase a home. And sometimes they do. And which is true. But people I'm also have to that. remember, <laughs> like, the economy literally runs on real estate. So yeah. if people aren't buying houses. The government isn't making any money. Yeah. And that's not what they want. So mm-hmm. they definitely put stuff like this in place. No, to they kind want of you to be in debt for sure. Like, let's be oh, clear. Yeah, when you sure. buy a house, you in debt. So yes. they want y'all they to want you home. in debt. They definitely want you to buy homes. Yeah. But I feel like that's a way for them to kind of spark up you know mm-hmm. some more movement in the yeah. um in the Get real more estate market in some good debt. Okay. exactly <laughs> <laughs> and that's the real yeah that's the real real estate for sure okay, right? yeah and so that pmi if i stand correct i'm pretty sure it's just for people who are purchasing now yes um, it's not gonna yeah, it's not, so exactly. yeah, like, i call my little um, can no. i update my loan no, 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 no. no. you're in poverty you're in poverty you're in poverty PMI when you purchased your house last year you were at 0.85 PMI if I think the it, it mandated sometime in May it may, I think yeah, May 20th I, something sometime oh, no, in Earth. No, March, 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 March 20th. So if you bought yeah. your house after that rule went into place, then you'll be affected by that change. But unfortunately, if you bought it before, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, because I had a client that was closing <laughs> literally eight days after. Maybe I ought to put that in the Listen, okay. I called that lender so quick. I said, put it in effect now. <laughs> and it, <laughs> Trying it to did push work. It back. Right. Yeah. Like, it did work. And she saved a lot of money. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's, I mean, if you're looking for a time to buy and go FHA, now is the time because mm-hmm. you're saving money compared to people who bought their house a year ago. So yeah, that's always sure. good. So the second thing I wanted to talk about that the government just recently put in place that I think is amazing is the 40-year mortgage. Oh mm-hmm. my God. People it's so great. People were going crazy about that. They I was like, what does this do this. for us? I'm like, no, girl, it's not for you. <laughs> yes, because I feel like that sparked a lot of conversation um, and people just misunderstood what it mm-hmm. was. So the, you know, typically mortgages used to be like 15 years. Now they're typically 30 years. So now people are like, oh, wait, I can get a mortgage for 40 years now because obviously that like stretches it out. Exactly. But no, it's not for, if you're looking to purchase a home right now or if you're in the process of shopping for a home that's not for you you. this is not for any home buyer sorry Mm -hmm. no I was just gonna say it's not for the buyers it's for those who have already obtained Mm -hmm. their mortgage and you may have had some maybe you got laid off or maybe you've been having some difficulties paying the mortgage so you're behind Mm -hmm. so they've given you they're giving you this option to do to change your mortgage to the 40 year to basically put your payments on the back end of yes. your loan, basically. It's going to be on the back end of your loan. Um, It's going to give you a longer period to pay it, and then it's going to give you a lower mortgage. Yes. So do you have, I have a question about that. Do you have to, Um, is the interest rate changed? Like, do you have to apply for it again? I think it does. I think you have to, like, do everything over, over again. again. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just like with refinancing. Like, if yeah, you, anytime like you want to refinance. change the terms of the loan that you have, whether it be for a new interest rate or in this case for a 40 year loan term, you still have to qualify. Mm-hmm. You still have to be in good standing. Because I want to let you know. I'm about to go with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Please, Nika. No, if you've been, I mean, if you ain't been paying your payment, it's for those of you who yeah. haven't been paying. Oh, okay. Nika, like, right. I can skip a few of those that don't give me the 40 years. <laughs> no, 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 you don't no. want to put it on the back end. Because like, yeah. then when you're ready to sell, that's just less money that you're going to get. For right. sure. Oh, up front, because now it's on the back of your loan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a good saving grace. I think the reality of the situation is like, no one could have predicted us going through a global pandemic. Right. And I think even though we're not in that pandemic anymore, we are still getting a lot of back end of some of the things that happened during the pandemic. Unemployment is still very much real. Mm-hmm. Things are still very much happening. So I think it's a good saving grace for people who are mm-hmm. kind of falling short because of that or because of issues just, you know, in the workplace, life happens. Yeah. Life, right. life, life sucks. Is, for sure. And life, life, and I feel like everything is wiped away from it. It's not fair. So mm-hmm. I love the fact that they've implemented something that's like, okay, 
I see you. I feel you. Mm. I'm going to help you out, sis. Right. Mm-hmm. And get everybody back on their feet. Because nobody needs to be in debt to the point where they can't really move their muscle mm-hmm. because of a home. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what the 40-year FHA does. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Especially with taxes and stuff increases. I'm talking about go Obama. Go no, Obama. No, no, no. <laughs> Never mind. I miss you, Obama. I miss you, POTUS. <laughs> but now, I feel like with a lot of times, too, a lot of people... They feel like their mortgage, I'm not going to lie, y'all, the homestead exemption, I remember we were talking about that. Yeah, they denied me. So the taxes went what do you up. Mean, mm, yeah, they denied How? it. I don't know, mm. but they denied it. Did you I'll do it after the date? Because you no, can't get denied. The, yeah, they denied oh, you it. Can't they, deny. yeah, you can't deny. Oh, I didn't know that. You, you can get so denied mean? your homestead loan. Don't fight me, Nika. What? If you do that application wrong. They no, I think it's because my, my license. Remember, I was telling you my well, license. That's one of the wrongs because it tells you, you what type yeah, of you license. Yeah, you have to do all of that before yeah, you do it. Like, so, I had to change mm-hmm. my like license tag, my insurance. Yeah, all of wow. that had to be done. I'm paying for it. So, those Damn. taxes don't work. Well, you can oh. do it next year, though. Yeah, I can do it next year. Now I know. Year. I learned my lesson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> you be yeah. okay. Yeah. I mean, it hurts, though. Fulton County yeah. taxes. Yeah. Like, I haven't even got I mean we don't get the tax bill yet so I don't even know what the difference it's coming. is going to look like it well, I'm hoping it goes down I'm hoping it go down me too yeah, yeah. I mean. Ooh, and I want to be re- excuse me <clears throat> I want to reiterate that um, when the government puts this stuff out you have to remember like they don't want you guys to lose your homes right because then who's going to pay I mean mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah, saying they don't want any losses mm-hmm. exactly so I think they put that in place and what they're calling it is a loan modification mm-hmm. so if you are in a bind where you need to take the money out, <clears throat> excuse me, or if you just can't pay for your mortgage or if you're behind a couple months, um, the good thing about that is you have to go to your lender. Mm-hmm. No other lender can modify your loan who didn't work on the file. Right. So you sure. have to go. If you got your mortgage from Loan Depot, Loan mm-hmm. Depot, <laughs> Loan Depot is the one who has to re- well, um, modify. <laughs> shout out to no damn Loan Depot. I cannot. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> No, I think that's a really good thing. And I think um, I think to that point, I think we have to get out of that state of being like embarrassed about things. Like mm-hmm. if you know you're going through a rough patch, especially if it comes to finance and real estate, mm-hmm. reach out to your realtor, or reach out to your lender just to say, hey, look, this is my current situation. Can you advise me properly? Like mm-hmm. versus yeah. letting it get so, 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 mm-hmm. so bad. And we could have like gave you the correct resources. So mm-hmm. I know it's a tough right. pill to swallow. I feel like everybody has been into a point where, you know, they're struggling or might just need the extra push. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. be afraid to ask for the help because there are a lot of resources like these ones that we're talking about today that you guys might not know about mm-hmm. yeah. yeah go to those industry professionals you ain't gotta tell nobody mm-hmm. just, just call your mother yeah. 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 Her bills and yeah like don't let <laughs> people know your business. business yeah exactly and I mean the good thing is they do that so that it'll be like less of a burden to you because obviously <clears throat> now with the 40 year mortgage your payments are gonna be stretched out mm-hmm. so it's gonna be a little lower so yep. it, it works in your we favor love that. I yeah, love that I think one. that's amazing that's mm-hmm. a really good um, opportunity for people so the third thing that the government has done, and we all know about it, I'm sure our clients all know about it because they ask us all the time, is down payment assistance. So they love it, they love it, they love it. Yeah, I love it and I hate it because mm-hmm. some down Same. payment assistance, y'all know, is not good. Mm-hmm. It's a scam. Yeah, some it's of a scam. Them. It's I mean, a scam. it's not a scam, mm-hmm. but it's. It's a scam. They get in the way with murder. Y'all know the commercials. Y'all know the commercials. I compare down payment assistance all the time. It's the commercial about the new health thing. Oh, this can cure asthma. I did this. I can breathe better. And you looking all like, I got asthma. I want to breathe better. And as soon as you turn your head, may cause death, heart attack. (laughs) You could die, but that's going to be okay. Like, what? That's down payment assistance. Like, not all of them. A lot of them do. Do that, like mm-hmm. tell you all the pros, and then oh, by the way, your mm-hmm. interest rate ten percent. You owe me extra money. Okay, you and can't you say your house. house. You got a second lien on, and if you do want to say your house, you're gonna pay me back with interest. But that's cool. I'm gonna still pay your down payment. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like there's so many things. Like you said, a lot of times they will make you when you want to sell your home in a couple years. They will take the proceeds. Mm-hmm. They they want their money back. Yeah. And, and then some. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you they'll it'll be special steps on it. So it's mm-hmm. like if you sell it within like the first five years, every year you owe a certain amount. So if they Mm-hmm. give you 15k okay you sell it first year you owe them 12k mm-hmm. you sell it the second year you owe them 10k it, it looks like mm-hmm. it'll be a number that you have to pay them back so i mean if you stay in it the five years then yeah yeah you you're fine. good yeah, yeah. i feel like ain't f- no free money it's no free money let's get into the good yeah, part. The yeah part. but it's it's kind of hard to find that really good because those programs that actually have those they run out of money really really fast they do and by I the time i get back to them he was yeah. supposed to get down payment assistance from like a government program 
And then the funds ran out mm-hmm. and they were supposed to get them back. But then, of course, my lender, shout out to George, he figured out another way to get it done. But in the event that, you know, it was a lender who just like, well, I don't got no money to give you. Mm-hmm. Then it could have been bad for the for the buyer. But mm. um, I also feel like in-house down payment assistance programs for like from a lender from a lender definitely those are better those are more secure the funds are there they usually don't come with those stipulations it's kind of Mm -hmm. just like a straightforward down payment assistance so I always recommend if the lender has an in-house program if they're telling me like unfortunately like Georgia Dream yeah Georgia Dream is difficult very 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 difficult like I don't know if that's going to close I don't know if that's going to close for you I don't really know if they got the money sit this segment out right okay if it's a good lender with a good in-house yeah, yeah. No, I want to echo that sentiment because up until maybe today, I've never been <laughs> one to say anything positive about damn payment assistance because I just don't care for it. I don't agree with it. However, I've recently bumped into a lender that has a really, really good in-house program. And I think that's really like the bread and butter. It's mm-hmm. almost like getting something for retail price versus getting it for like the... Uh, off market price, like y'all know what some shoes drop, and you you don't get it on the first drop, but you got to get it for a higher price outside. I kind of feel like go that's go. A, mm-hmm. you got to go to go and get your <laughs> shoes. Like, you pay five hundred for a hundred fifty dollars shoe. Like mm-hmm. that's kind of how down payment assistance is. So I think like when you do have an in house lender, who again the finances are there, they're able to kind of. I hate to say make promises, but make promises that they can really stand on the keep. Mm-hmm. I think that's where down payment assistance comes in. A lot of times, I think for me at least, like my clients are like, I make the money, like I can afford a three thousand dollar mortgage, but I don't have twenty five yeah, thousand mm-hmm. dollars just sitting into an account. Mm-hmm. Um, because naturally, like especially our generation, don't fight me again. Y'all know y'all don't like to save no money, but y'all make a lot of money. So right. I think that's like the caveat. Mm-hmm. So I think finding a good down payment assistance program, especially for like the audience, I speak for mm-hmm. myself, the audience I serve. Mm-hmm. I think it's been very Yeah, it's very yeah. doable. I see other states like Florida got a really good Heroes program. If you guys yes. are in Florida, like stuff like that that has it. Mm-hmm. It just depends on your state. Like I said, I don't knock down down payment. I've just never closed one. If you got yeah. it, use, use it. it. Yeah. I've only it's... done one down payment assistance deal. And I will say, and I'm glad you said that, River, how a lot of people, they do have the money. They just don't save it. Yeah. So that's one of the issues I ran into with down payment assistance is that the government put that in place to help underrepresented communities. So mm-hmm. typically down payment assistance is really catered to people who have a low income. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if most oh, yeah. likely you will get denied if you have, you make a yeah, lot of money. Like yeah. income restrictions. Yeah, if they, they have, have income, income restrictions Another typically. They in-house. In-house, in-house, yeah. They, yeah. Have they don't. But a lot of like government programs, they do have strict mm-hmm. um, income restrictions like, when it comes to down payment. Le- no, I think that's a really good point. I think like, I, I think the same way about FAFSA. Like if you have an income household of $100,000, right? Mm-hmm. That looks like a lot on paper. But then when you have kids who have to go to college and have braces and have anything that you have to pay for, kids are expensive, families mm-hmm. are expensive. They only look at your income and they're not looking at the liabilities that go along with mm-hmm. that. So having income restrictions, you know, saying somebody makes a lot of money, you don't know where that money is going. And by right. the time you pay all mm-hmm. those people, you be making six figures and really not seeing none of that money. So, okay. And I need my money. Mm-hmm. Right right now. Now. No. I see it both yeah. ways. I see it that way. And then I think about the people who they may just have a one person income or mm-hmm. for their household and their income may be really low. The government programs, like some of their down payment assistance, will give them that opportunity mm-hmm. that a lot of other places can't do. So yeah. they're out there, um, but just keep in mind because I I have clients all the time make well over six figures. Like, do you have down payment assistance? No, I'm like, you don't need down payment assistance. <laughs> right. But well, they're do though. She needs money. I mean, yeah, it, <laughs> it honestly Dior. depends. I need some down payment. <laughs> it's case by case. I mean, you can sell your Dior bags and get them right back. I told after y'all closing. put your bags on Facebook Market. I will buy them. Yeah, and get it right back. Okay, <laughs> but. Um, down payment assistance can be very, very, very beneficial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For, sure. For, sure. For sure. Yeah. So those were our three um, programs that we think the government has helped to make home ownership more attainable. So like we said, it was a PMI decrease, mm-hmm. um, the 40 year mortgage for current homeowners and then down payment assistance mm-hmm. options. So, so right. Right. Those are just a few. Yeah. 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 Just a few. There's just many, many if more. more. If you want to know more, you can contact any one of us yep. and we will definitely, um, reach or excuse me we will definitely send you over to our preferred lender who can help you and talk about all those options because he mm-hmm. has a ton so <laughs> yeah, <excuse me. laughs> um question right. of the day oh that's me again huh yeah yes. you're on the road today Mr. you're on the road go ahead <laughs> the ladies are crazy today and so go let's ahead. get into our favorite segment of the day question of the day y'all <laughs> 
Okay, so if this is your first time tuning in, we have this segment called The Question of the Day where we take questions from you guys, our audience. So you can shoot us a DM on Instagram at Real Talk Atlanta or send us an email at realtalkatlpod at gmail.com. Yep. So today's question, um, someone wanted to know, they sent us an email and said, what is the longest time it took one of us to close a deal? A long, long are we talking it. about post the after the closing date? After contract, at the yeah, end of yeah, contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After, I assume she meant like after we went under contract. Like, what's the longest it took? Oh, to post? Is it no new contract? Contract? I would say like, like, like well, new she didn't specify. Fine. No new construction don't, don't count. count. Yeah. Okay, so new construction counts. So I mean, I guess okay, but if yeah. you close after your date, I guess like I your guess expected how, date. I would say how much longer after like the date you were supposed, supposed to, yeah, to close. Yeah, the expected date. Mine closed. The latest it closed was like eight months after it was closed. It was supposed to close October. 20, I remember that deal. <laughs> 20, no, 2021. Mm-hmm. And it closed June. On um, Bastic mm-hmm. Side Eye. 20, or Mom May. Oh, I remember that deal. Yeah. That was my longest new construction. Um, resale what excuse wise, they had? Though, Who was the builder? The builder was David Weekly. Was this COVID times? No. Yes, it kind of was. It was post COVID. It was post COVID, but, we but, but the house was nice, though. I was like, dang, I was taking y'all time in here, though. They okay. took their time. <laughs> well, that was their excuse. It was the surprise. They don't need one. Uh, it was and you know, in that contract, they always put like the bill. We reserve the right. I make sure I tell my clients years. that resale, oh my God. I had this one buyer. I was shopping with her for like a year. Oh, I never and had I, that. And I mean, like, y'all, not like, on and off. You know how you like shopping mm-hmm. and you're not. I mean, active every day. That gas money. The gas was going crazy. I feel, like at, the, that off on your I feel like at the end of the deal, I made zero dollars. And yeah. it was a referral mm. from another agent. Double the referral. Right double right homicide. Back. Double <laughs> homicide. <laughs> Triple homicide. <laughs> Like five times, time, time and, and that referral fee—that's a triple. Damn. I couldn't tell. I could. I was just like, Dang, we working for free these you, days. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're dragging it. You're dragging and it right now. I had a case like that. I had one client. Um, mm, she was being dragged through the mud. We was close. We we were shopping for about a year, maybe a year and a half before she actually closed. And she was actively shopping, putting in offers, getting rejected, terminating. Like, mm-hmm. oh. I mean, she made it. We we closed. Made it. it feels so good. Oh, I yeah. love her now, though. I yeah. love, love yeah. her. I have, I mean, and in a case, because I don't know what she meant in her question, but I have had a case where, like, our closing kept getting pushed back. Mm-hmm. I say this all the time um, with FHA, those repairs. Yeah. They kept no pushing joke. it back because of the repairs yeah. from the seller. For me, I feel like the longest, it was a new construction. Usually, I close, like, 30 days. I don't think I've ever had passed to wait yeah for... but the one that did make me wait was with my boyfriend we had to wait like four oh, months yeah. oh, remember yeah. like yeah. four months after and we still ended up not closing I feel like the hardest part for me was to say okay we gotta give up and start yeah. over mm-hmm. Same. oh yeah. yeah you try to go find something but literally yeah. we gave up and next day we were under better. contract oh, yeah. yeah found something better we found something better now. we closed in 15 days after that wow mm-hmm. that was crazy and I'm sure he loves his house mm-hmm. I would and say I for me the long Move over. <laughs> I would say the longest for me, I had like a new construction situation. It was a new construction home, but not in the community. Like a house had burned down, built mm. about the lot, built the house. I'll be honest, my client, she knows who she is. She got that house for a good price. I think that builder was like, oh no. Mm-hmm. Times is going up. I think the house probably appraised for like sixty or seventy thousand dollars over what we got it for. Whoa. But they had listed it so low. And before mm-hmm. they went on the market, I offered them like ten thousand over because I saw the potential. I'm like, this mm-hmm. is crazy. As they start building it and building it, them comps start going up, I said, mm-hmm. Oh baby, they was like, we gonna drag this out to the finish line. I said, Me too. We ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> and she she held on. She wants to quit so bad. I'm like, trust me. You you, you gonna love course. it, yeah, baby. We closed that. I mean, Sella. He said I was, I was signed in another room. No, she said, is oh, rolling. Ooh. Okay, sorry. He, he went, said he gonna sign another. Oh, room? Sella signed another room. about that the back door. He's like, oh, he was upset. He I wanted been that too. He he knew. Was it the one that they were trying to tell you they were trying to terminate and you had to like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember His that. Send me that email. Yeah. Send me that email. Oh, that was a lie. But oh, I was yeah. trying to whisper. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we are on camera. <laughs> um, I would say the longest new construction. I ain't gonna lie, I just signed a, a deal right now. She was like, I'm gonna keep it a buck. This ain't gonna close till next year, September. I was like, Ooh. we're in May, by the way. That was in May. Why does it take so long? I mean, it's like, it's in Fayetteville, though. I mean, it's oh, in the 700s in Fayetteville. I guess they need to mention. She said 2024 for sure. 
but Dang. September of next yeah. year. That's crazy. It is. That's that's, six. that's, that's over twelve months. It's usually that's six like, to eight months for new yeah. shows. Yeah. But the thing about this is, this is a very specific floor plan. My client has been looking for for the a master long on the time. Main? Master on the. The, ma- the Emerson too, the master, the master on, on the main. Oh, okay. And they have just like picked the land, so it's not even mm. like really, you know, they kind of behind permits still. They could yeah. be doing all and that. That's yeah. So yeah. it's not close to September, but still a little check. At least you yeah. ain't gonna close in the twenty twenty. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is. That's, that's funny. That's, good. that's my thing. Like with new construction, like the only new construction do I've never had a new construction well I've had one where like it was moving ready we've always had to like wait yeah, for it yeah. I have one like that now yeah and that waiting game is something else it's, I know. Know. you forget about it it's <laughs> like, wait, where's so the finance you know, yeah. 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 I got a new construction close on Monday I'm like oh my god I have no paperwork let's go let's go that's what you got to be waiting a new construction close contract I'm like I'm done with that right at the end of the table as long as they with the preferred lender we good I ain't worried about nothing the blue tape walk I know you good and I'll see you at that table with that bag Oh no, I gotta nah. stay on you. <laughs> yeah, sure, I don't sure. know what it's going, but prefer I'm cool. I'm gonna sign the deal. Like, we good, girl. Yeah. See you at club. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and that just goes to show like every deal in real estate is so, so different. different. Yeah. Like you just mm-hmm. never know. But mm-hmm. thank you for your question and thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. We will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.